Hi Taurus, welcome to my channel, we're doing your dailies. This is for 18 to the 19. But before we start, I just want to encourage you guys to attend the webinar, the very first that I'll be doing. Hopefully not the last, okay. So it's going to be on the 26th. Uh, check out the link down there in the description box. Um, it's everything about Venus, um, which is you. You're ruled by Venus, so it would be helpful to get to know more of your... Um, well, it's um, it's going to be your... What do you call it? Um, not your Atmokharka planet, but your um, lord of your first house, okay? Your lordship, basically. Um, we're going to be dealing with everything from how it affects relationship, how it helps relationship, um, things that I personally use as far as remedies, all this wonderful that is all related to Venus. So I'll see you in the class, April 26th, link down there. Now let's begin your dailies, 1819. Let's see, for my Taurus, 1819. Let's see. Okay. Got here the tower, could have be having an awakening moment. This is about, um, you know, realizing, waking up to a nightmare. Um, the tower is about, can be breaking up and separating from the person that you're dealing with. But as far as this energy, normally this is sudden change and sudden, sudden shifts in your life. Let me see what's sudden in your chart. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so there's definitely a lot of sudden shifts in your life because as a Sag 8th house, everything is right there right now. K2, Jupiter, and Saturn. That's a lot of karmic changes that you are um, that you are going to be going for okay it's going to be quite a while because this is a transit okay let me see things just keep changing things just keep changing you know that's what's happening for the temperance if you guys have broken apart and then now you're, sur you're surprised why are we working this relationship other person is a Sag which I told you already a lot of things are happening in the Sag Okay, Jupiter is in retrograde also, so there is a high emphasis right now about big changes in your life. Okay, this can also be someone's income has changed, your partner's income has changed, either for the good or for the bad. Okay, um, it's not your it's not your income though, so don't worry, Taurus, don't worry. Um, there is someone reaching out to you also after a separation here, as far as temperance. There can be a, a person from far from you. Mm -hmm. The moon. Okay. So there could have been some secrets. There's two sides of the moon. One that is good, okay, and one that is not. And which what is not is already now uh, well, kind of like shattered. So you have faced a situation right now here. Mm -hmm. You faced it. And it was a what? A life changing um, reality that you have to face. But this can also be showing about in denial the moon and the tower, whatever you're denying, you can't anymore. Because you woke. Remember I told you, it's like, you woken up, and this is the nightmare. The moon card is the nightmare. Okay. The moon has different faces. So, for this face of the moon, okay, you're, it's a realization. Queen of Wands can be a Sag, again, or a Leo. Oh, well, of course, Aries is going to be there also, but there's a Leo card. There can be someone who's connecting with you, and it appears, um, but this can be you also if you have a Leo in your chart. I'm trying to make it work. Okay. If it's a fire sign, they're asking you to be more patient. Underneath the moon card and the tower, get a page of ones. You could be growing fond of someone now here. After the, all the changes that has happened in your life, there's someone that you're looking up to can be a concealed energy also that you're seeing a good chemistry with. Three of Wands, yeah. Someone is very um, optimistic. Okay, the Three of Wands this is about someone is really, really um, saying, it's like, no, this is all going to work out. This is going to work out. This is going to work out. This is going to work out. Because the tower here is about it never did, but someone here now has high hope that it will. Okay, that's the that's the three of wands energy here. They look at it that it's not yet over for some, and that's why they still want to work out. You could be admiring this person who still wants to work it out with you. Okay, let me see here. So this is two people still sticking with each other. 
Let me see what the girl deck is saying. Got here the soul print of your life is in the stars. Okay. So, astronomically, or the planet wise, the changes that's happening in your life is with regards to, right now, having three planets in one house. That's a lot of things happening. And those are changes, because Jupiter right now is in Sag. It's gonna go back um, to Scorpio. It's gonna go back to your house of partnership. Right now, it's just doing some sort of changes with other things beside your partnership. You could also be realizing a lot of secrets of the person that you're keeping. Because 8th house is also a secretive house. Uh, it's a house of secrets also. It's a house of a lot of things that you don't even know. And you don't even want to know. Because once you know, it does transform you. It does change everything in your life. So you're going to see something here that will forever change your life now. Okay? So I'm going to continue this reading. And let's see what are these changes. Link down there in the description box. Make sure to check out the webinar. And I will see you in class April 26. Bye, guys.